So are we able to invoke the blessing of God on another individual? Is this biblical? Is there anything in the scripture that teaches that we can invoke God's blessing? Or is this merely a myth? Or is this merely a generation of hypocrites that say a lot of things but do nothing? Because I think it's more like the latter. I think we are a generation today of hypocrites that a lot of lip service but nothing, uh, no feet to what we say. I I don't see it in the scripture that we we have the ability, uh, that God has somehow given us some kind of ability to invoke God's blessing on people. I mean, I'm, I'm as guilty as everyone else. I mean, I've had times in my life where I just felt so good and had such a blessing in my spirit that I just wanted to say, God bless you to people around me. Now, that doesn't mean that God can't uh, pour a blessing on somebody uh, or his life be poured out through your tongue because the power of life and death is in the tongue and because we have the Holy Spirit in us and God can bless somebody. But you and I, as far as ourself, we can't invoke a blessing on somebody from just from the self-will. But even those today that don't even uh, say that they are Christian, the world today, is throwing around the word blessing. And they believe that when they are very wealthy and very famous and that they become Hollywood stars, that they are enjoying God's blessing. Can you believe that? The Hollywood stars believe they're blessed of God. They consider it God's blessing. Now, you, you answer that question for me, brothers and sisters. Are Hollywood stars blessed by God? Those that promote worldliness? Those that are anti-Christ? Those that are against Christ? Are they being blessed by God? Has God blessed them? Because I hear it more and more every single day today. Just all the time now all the time hearing the world saying that God is blessing them. Is God blessing them? Just because they have all kinds of money and fame and is that the blessing of God? Because I don't think it is. I don't believe it is. I say The scripture says that the blessing of God maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. Well, why is it that all these Hollywood stars today are miserable? How come they're not glad and rejoicing? They're all sad and they're empty. Why? Because it's not God's blessing. Can the devil bless people? If you want to call it a blessing. I call it the deceitfulness of riches. But, you know, there are those today that would like to have, quote unquote, Lucifer's blessing. Or they would like to have the devil's blessing. Folks, you and I do not have the power to bless people. We really don't. If God chooses to bless somebody through our tongue, through our our mouth, through, through our life, speaking a word over their life, that's God doing that. God can speak through us if we let him. But we don't at our own will and just we can will someone to be blessed. (laughs) That's just ridiculous. But again, we can take of our own resources that God has blessed us with and we can share that with others. Amen? You go out and tell a homeless man, God bless you, while you walk away and he's still empty. He's still hungry. Or you can go into a store and buy him a sandwich. And don't just give him the sandwich. 
sit down and have a sandwich with him. Not only would that be a great blessing, but that will fill that person's belly, not only with food, but just by being friendly with him, you don't know. God could save that person. So let's not just love in word. Amen? Let's love in deed and in truth. Let's not just be talkers. The world's filled with talkers today that believe they're blessed and believe they can bless other people. Let's not be talkers. Let's be doers. If God has blessed us, let's share the blessing of Abraham. Let's share the blessing of God. Amen. That all the families of the earth might be blessed in the blessing of Abraham, the blessing that God has put upon each of us through the blessing of Abraham, through faith. God has poured upon you and I of the blessing from Abraham through faith. Now you can enjoy the blessing of Abraham or you can have the blessing that God has for you. A lot of people today still living under Abraham's blessing. God has something for you, friend. God wants you to realize that Abraham's nothing more than you are. He's just a man that obeyed God and received God's righteousness. But God has a blessing for you. Just like Jacob, he wanted to have Esau's blessing. No, God has a blessing for Jacob. God has a blessing for you. And we need to seek God for that. We need to seek the Lord for our own individual blessings and that those around us will be blessed out of the blessing that God blesses us with. Amen. Stop living off the blessings of other people. Stop living off the blessings of our patriots of old, our patriarchs, not patriots, patriarchs. Stop living off the patriarchs of the past. Stop living off the blessings of those from the scripture by reading the Bible and just enjoying the blessing that came from their life. And stop enjoying even the blessing that comes from Jesus and his obedience to the Father. And realize that God has something for you out of your faith that you have in God and the obedience that you have for the Father. That's why Jesus said to the disciples, he said, where is your faith? Where's your relationship with the Father? How many know that God the Father is going to have many sons like his own son? How many know that Jesus said there'll come a time where you won't ask me anything, you'll ask the Father yourself? Amen? Folks, we need to understand this is real. This is not something where we just live off everybody else or we live off other people's blessing. No, God has something for you. God has a blessing for you. God has a plan for you. God has his will for you. And you and I must do the will of the Father. Stop trying to live off everybody else's blessing. There's people on this broadcast that listen to this broadcast that enjoy the blessing of God on Brother Joseph's life instead of the blessing that God has for you. God has something for you to share with those around you. Amen? Praise God. Let's not live off the blessings of others. Let's receive God's blessing for our own individual life, and let's share that blessing with others. God bless you.